Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Destiny 2. So today is going to be a very short video, I'm just going to go over the dawning event. Um, it hasn't changed since previous years, so if you are a veteran player you probably don't need this guide because the dawning is the same as it always is, but it's the Christmas event, so we spend our time giving cookies to all the NPCs. It's great fun. Uh, but first things first, you're going to come to Eva, she'll give you a quest. The quest is pretty simple, it's hey, cook a gala doodle for Zavala and then go give it to him. That's literally the intro quest. But, after you do the intro quest, you're going to be given an oven. Eva's holiday oven. So, what this oven does is it allows you to cook cookies. So if you go hover over this, you'll see all of the recipes that you have. Uh, if you're a new player, a lot of these will be greyed out because you won't have the recipes for them. Uh, you'll have the recipes, but you won't have cooked them, so there'll be a big question mark. You know, won't know what they look like. However... What you need to do is get these ingredients, as you can see here, Ether Cane, Delicious Explosion, and Essence of Dawning. And you then use those to craft these cookies. You give these cookies to a particular NPC, Why which it tells you on the actual cookie who it's for. Benchy44 likes these ones. You've got a man of holiday for these. So on and so forth. So, what are the ingredients? Well, the first ingredient comes from killing specific types of enemies. So you see here, Vex Milk, obviously from Vex. Ether Cane is from Fallen. Cabal is from Cabal. Chitin Powder is from Hive, Taken Butter is from Taken, and then Dark Ether Cane is from Scorn opponents. And then the next ingredient is for killing them in a specific way. As you can see here, Sharp Flavor is for defeating enemies with swords, Delicious Explosion, kill them with grenades, rocket launchers, or your grenade ability. All of these will tell you how to actually do them, um, but a lot of them, you see, get kills with Void, get kills, uh, generate orbs of power. Kills with stasis damage. A lot of these will give you ways of actually killing an enemy that will then give you these rare ingredients. This isn't guaranteed, by the way. This is just a random drop when you do it. So make sure you're killing in certain ways that you need for a particular cookie to do it. And that will set you on your way. But after you have the ingredients, the last thing you need is Essence of Dawning. Now, Essence of Dawning is collected from all of the activities in the game. So if you do a strike, when you finish the strike, you'll get some. If you do a loss sector, you'll get a little bit after finishing the loss sector. Doing a public event, same thing, you'll get a little bit after doing the public event. So anything, any kind of activity that you complete will give you Dawning Essence. However, you'll probably reach a point in this activity where you have more ingredients than you have Dawning Essence, and Dawning Essence is your limiting factor. Um, so, I would suggest, if you are a veteran player, this is something you may not remember, but this ship here, the Starfarer 7M, which is from season 12, I want to say. Uh, not flare. There equipment. Ships. Season 12. If you pull this ship from your collections, it has a specific ability in the Dawning. Because it is a ship from the Dawning. Grants a chance to generate Dawning Spirit whenever you find a Dawning ingredient. This will help a lot in actually keeping up with your Dawning Spirit production, because generally speaking, that's the limiting factor you're going to fall into, not the ingredients themselves. The ingredients you can farm relatively easily, the Dawning Spirit is more irritating to farm. So if you have this ship sitting in your collections, pull one and equip it, because one, it's festive, it fits, <laughs> fits the aesthetic, but beyond that, it's also, um, it's also mechanically beneficial to do so. However, the idea here is very simple. You get ingredients, after you have the ingredients, you open up your oven, and then you cook. Damn tower, load please. Thank you. You will then cook cookies and then give them to NPCs. And when you give an NPC a cookie, it will give you the final ingredient, Let's see. or the final Let's see. material, I should say, which is Dawning Spirit. Now, Dawning Spirit is used specifically to buy upgrades from Evil Avante as well as spending your Dawning Spirit here to get the guns for the event. So you see here you can spend 25 Dawning Spirit and a gift box. The gift box you'll get from doing lots of different things. Uh, notably, handing cookies to people. If you give them a cookie, they'll give you a box in return. That is the ma main way to get them. However, you can get them in other random ways as well. Uh, but you can see through these upgrades, uh, this one you have to buy for the quest, so that's fine. Everyone will have this one. However, going further, you see uh, uh, Dawning Bounties reward an additional random ingredient. So when you complete a bandit, you get a random ingredient. That's nice. Dawning, uh, you'll get extra Dawning Essence when you do these. This is probably a pretty good upgrade relatively early. As I said, Dawning Essence is going to be your limiting factor 100% of the time. Uh, this one here, 
it upgrades your boxes in both of these, so you want to get both of these relatively early too, because that will allow you to get the extra weapons in your random boxes. As you can see here, you need to open these random boxes, get these guns first before you can focus the gun specifically. And then these ones you probably want before you claim any box, which will just give you an extra perk in the left and right column respectively. So it just makes the guns much better when you actually claim them. Uh, so that's all of the upgrades. These ones here are for snowballs. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about upgrading snowballs until you're just trying to, f unless you're trying to finish off your uh, event ticket, because there are a couple in here for defeating combatants with snowballs. So obviously, snowballs are better. It's easier to defeat opponents with snowballs. Uh, so the snowball mechanic is something else that I have to talk about. Um, do they have some in the tower? I think they probably do. They have historically, but they may not. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but throughout throughout the game, there will be little things of snowballs that you can pick up. Notably, they've got them littered throughout strikes and on patrol. But you can pick up the snowballs and throw them, and they do stasis damage explosions. So they're essentially an environmental hazard that you can use to kill enemies with, right? Um, but you can do a bunch of those, and that will give you... Essentially, the only thing that that is worth is actually completing the... Your famous guardian. If completing the event challenges, which will complete will the, uh, just... the event card for you. So there's a bunch of ones in here for doing things with snowballs. As well as doing things with snowballs, each time you do one of these you'll get some Dawning Spirit as well, it's worth noting. So it's even more Dawning Spirit that you can earn by doing these challenges. But that's the basic idea of it. There's not a whole lot else to go over. You cook cookies, give the cookies to the people who want them. They will give you presents in return. You can then turn those presents into a random roll of a gun until you get the guns that you want. Um, it's, it's simple, it's fun. It's one of my favorite things they do. They haven't changed it in years, and yet I don't care because I just I, I like it as an as a as a uh, event. The only other thing I will note specifically for newer players is you'll notice God, the menus in the tower are pretty horrendous at this point. Uh, you'll notice that I have my oven actually upgraded. You'll see here the oven is masterworked. To masterwork the oven, all you need to do is craft one of every single cookie. Which, there is 22 of them. Is that right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yep. So there's 22 of them, which sounds like a lot. Uh, n most people who are playing at the moment will have already done the vast majority of them. Because they s save over year to year. Uh, but if you're a new player, you'll have to craft one of each. However, it seems like the actual seasonal quest, as you can see here. Uh, cookily delivery helper. This seasonal quest seems to be pointing us towards crafting a cookie for every NPC that is available anyway, so you will get there. But the benefit of masterworking your oven is the fact that you see here where this takes one of each ingredient plus 10 Essence of Dawning. If you have not got a masterworked it oven, that will cost you 15 Essence of Dawning. So you're essentially taking a third of your Essence of Dawning price down, which is really beneficial, so it's worth cooking every single cookie in order, essentially, I would just say start start here, get your Galadoodles, that will be done by the actual uh, the quest. But then go to Traveler's Donuts for Ikora, then Chocolate Chips for Amanda, and just just take your way across, right? And just cook every single one of them. Because masterworking this oven does make a huge difference in the actual economy of doing it. Because a third of the Essence of Dawning is a huge amount. Anyway, I think that's everything. Uh, the only other thing I'll mention is that these weekly... Uh, these weekly bounties that Aoife will give you, that Bright Dust reward there, it doesn't tell you here, but it's actually 200 Bright Dust per weekly bounty. So they're definitely worth knocking out these weekly bounties. They're also quite easy. Uh, defeat enemies with snowballs, and this one here is just do five deliveries of cookies. Both very, very easy, and you get... One, you see you get a bunch of Essence of Dawning for these. You also get a bunch of Bright Dust, so it's worth doing. Uh, if you have multiple characters, that's 1,200 Bright Dust a week for doing essentially nothing. But yeah. That's everything. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you have any questions about any of the mechanics that I might have missed, please leave them down in the comments. But other than that, I'll see you next time, yes.